the leader of INRI Evangelical Spiritual Church, Primate Elijah Ayodele has warned the governor of a do state, Godwin Obaseki, to wake up because he foresees his political assignment being frustrated by his enemies in the state. The popular prophet advised the governor and his deputy, Philip Shaibu, not to allow discrepancies and kangaroo court judgment to be used to oust them. He made it known that the enemies of Obaseki and Shaibu are doing everything to get them out of the way. Ayodele said, Obaseki must wake up. They want to bring his government down. He must not sleep so that they will not use kangaroo court judgment against him. He and his deputy must not allow discrepancies. They must take every step so they won't get they won't give them a shock. His political enemies are waiting for his downfall. He should take the right step now before it is too late. They want to frustrate his political assignment. They are looking for every means to disqualify his ability to move a do forward. You must not joke with this before it is too late. They want to do everything to get him out of the way. He should not let it be too late. Mm. Well, this is a common knowledge. Everybody knows that. Uh, one thing I believe, apart from maybe they want to frustrate uh, his work, you know, just to move a state forward. I think that one is, is normal. But uh, if we are talking about the courts, this uh, certificate forgery, I don't think there's any big deal about it. If your hands are clean, if his hands are clean, if he has done the right thing, why should he be bothered? Submit the necessary documents that that will be needed in the courts. I don't think there's anything to be afraid of unless maybe himself, his hands are not clean. Fine. But if your hands are clean and you, you're all the things that they are uh, bringing against you, this issue of the certificate forgery, and you know that your certificates are clean, I don't think there's any need, any need for him to be bothered. That's been said. But if we talk about, oh, they try to make, you know, bring all of, a, a lot of propaganda, just like they did before the election, of course, you just have to buckle up and do the right thing. A lot of things are going on across the country. So every state and every governor must make sure they are there for the people. In as much the people are always there for them when they want to get their votes. You have to be there for the people and do the right thing and be proactive. You cannot just say, oh, yes, oh, I'm in my second turn. No, I can do whatever I want to do after I'm not coming back. And that was what cost a, cost a, or your state. Now your state is a PDP state it's usually it used to be apc but the way and manner the whole thing went and that was what brought pdp in in place that being said so we are not getting much as a people we are not getting much from these people from all these politicians be it a president a governors and other politicians we're not getting as as we expect but they are getting getting more than more than enough from the people they are getting more than enough from the people i don't i don't think we get even up to a one percent as as a, as a people but themselves they are getting even one thousand one thousand one thousand percent reward from you know telling us that they are saving us if we want to check at it we should not lie to ourselves we shouldn't lie to ourselves because all of this is uh, all this uh, little little development they, say, they always tell us that they bring mm -mm. it makes no meaning they are just scratching. They've not even started scratching, and they will use all of those to come and bobo us. So that does not mean that we should not even say, uh, say it the way it it is. And it's very very shameful that at uh, this age and time, what our politicians are, what they are engrossed with, what they put much of their time, you know, how to unseat this person. You want to be there. Uh, you want to remove this person. You want to make sure this person is not there. And at the end of the day, you will still go there. You are not still going to do anything. You are not going to be different. A typical example is what is happening at the center. Buhari, how many times did he try? He tried so many times. He cried. But see him now. See what is happening now. As if uh, it was Nigerians that went to beg him. Nigeria didn't give him chance. Three times. He didn't give him chance. It was the fourth time that he came on board. Thinking that, uh, oh, with all of the times that he failed. That coming for the fourth time, then he's going to do better things. But see what we are we are experiencing, and you can imagine the audacity, the arrogance, most especially from the spokesperson. I don't even, even Gabashi will, at least you can just manage Gabashi, but Femi Adeshino, that man he does not know how to talk. That is it. He does not know how to talk. I'm saying it with all manner of uh, uh, responsibility and sincerity. That man does not know how to talk. 
come and be calling Nigerians whalers, whaling whalers, telling people to leave their lands and, 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 and to give, it, give away their lands so that they can secure their lives. Now, we see women be the tough for mouth. I, do I do we blame them? Because you see, see psychophant be running after them. Oh, you are the best. You are doing this. You are doing that. What kind of a thing is that? And this man they said is a is a is a is a clergyman or whether is a is a minister in in four square and he does not know how to talk. He doesn't know how to talk. These are the people that they will mount puppies. They will be talking anyhow. They will have whole microphone. They will be talking anyhow. When you will be begging people for votes. Well, of course, they just put him there. He didn't even go to go to go and beg for votes now. So he would he would tell you that he does not have a direct uh, uh, impact or direct relationship with the people. So they, somebody just brought him and gave him that position, and they have forgotten where they are coming from. The question is that was he like that before before he, he became uh, the spokesperson of the of the president? So and the arrogance is just always there. Believe you me, when the election time is coming, it's just, you know, to fulfill all righteousness. They still know what they do at the end of the day. They know what they do. So coming back to what the uh, prophet is saying, it is a common knowledge. Everybody knows that. Everybody knows what is happening. But at the end of the day, people will still say, oh, we want to kill behind this person. You want to support this person. You want to support the other party A or party B. You want to defend them. At the end of the day, in the recess, what do we really gain? What do we even get? We still fund that their bills. We pay their, we pay all their expenses. Yes, what do we get? Do we get up to one percent of what we have put in? Because it is all this small money. You think uh, you have not done anything as an Okada man? You know, you know the stress you go through for you to pay. You know all this, all this, all this uh, ticket. You, they give you ticket. Maybe you have a small, a small table. You are selling tomatoes. You know, you know what, you know what you, what you go through in the hands of uh, the so-called. All this a local government uh, official that always comes to get money from you. Oh, I don't talk of maybe you are a, all this a new Beni, all this Oba market, all this Agbadu, Agbadu, Agbadu markets. If you are selling there, eh? Or you day a Kyosa markets, or na Santana markets, now you day. You know, you, you know, you know how much it's not for free. You can't just go there. Even if you are selling on the road, you can't just, you know, that you can't just be there. You have to pay something. So, what are we talking about? I've been a Papa idea, I've been a mission road. You know what you pay. You know what you what 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 you pay. All of those small, 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 small money. You can imagine even those days when all these all these all these Yoruba streets, all those ring road. You know, you know what you go through. So you pay their bills. You pay their bills. In that small money you get, you know how much they you take out to pay all those tickets that we are talking about. All of those things put together, they you we use it to do to fund their lifestyle. And at the end of the day, they will work for four, four, four years, at months, eight years, and they will come back, they'll be telling you that uh, you have to pay pension for life. You know what they take? So, in the recess, in, in as much as you are trying to defend them or trying to support them or you just like this person, you know, irrespective of anything, see, think back, what do I even get? What do I even get in the recess compared to what these people are getting? At this age and time, we still talk about uh, uh, this and this and that. Nobody talk. Come, let it. Even when whosoever that wants to come there, let them come there. At the end of the day, nothing. They're still not going to do anything. It's still going to be business as usual. It's going to be business as usual. Nigerians are suffering too much in the hands of these politicians. We people com we complain about uh, oh the colonial masters, but these ones are even worse. They are even worse. Whether it is the colonial master that even taught them how to do this, but at least you have to the, the kind of stress that we went through at this age and time. We are supposed to have love for ourselves, but no, the same, the same, the same, uh, how would I put it? The same suffering, the same heart, the same hardship we still go through in our own people's hands. You can imagine such a thing. You can imagine such a thing. It is what it is, but all I know is that we, to just, you know, just to play to the gallery with what the prophet has said it's a common knowledge i don't think anybody needs a suicide to tell us uh, what has been happening this uh, battle has been on close to two years even before the election you know one thing i said before that it is not over until it is over because definitely until the supreme court will settle this whole thing even if the supreme court settles it hmm, forget it too. they are still going to be on the on the case they are still going to be uh, 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 do you know manner of things? So that is just the way it is. Let's just keep our finger crossed and see what uh, happens, how they are going to manage everything. Well, someone should tell this man to keep quiet. He's becoming something else. Too much noises. 
Baba Prophet, there is no kangaroo court in Nigeria that can't that can remove a governor. Any court that can be a threat to a governor is a court of competent jurisdiction. Oga Apostle, mind your language and how you bring the courts into disrepute. Oba Seki with fake certificates must be sacked by the court. So guys, let us hear your opinion. Leave your comment below and let us know your thoughts. Thank you.